And your homework is simply this. For five times, I want you, before you uh, pull out your wallet or your purse and buy anything, and before that cash register rings that, scans that thing up, I want you, and it has to be one item, okay? I just simply want you to ask them, is this the best price I can get? Okay? And then pause. Because if you're going to be a good negotiator, you have to make sure that you make one statement and then pause and wait for a response. Okay? Is this the best price I can get? And then, so I just want you to pause and wait for a response. There's two things that I want you to pay very close attention to. Number one is your emotional response and struggle asking that question to anyone. Okay? It's a huge indicator of your ability to be a strong negotiator. You may be a friendly person, you care about people, but how you feel about asking that question says a lot about your ability to negotiate. The second thing I want you to pay attention to is the response from the person you just asked that. And if you watch them, in most cases, I, I would say out of those five, you're going to save some money. I promise you. I don't care if it's Macy's. I don't care if it's Lowe's. I don't care where it is. You're going to save some money. Okay, here's a, here's a couple examples. Uh, I go to Starbucks quite a bit, and that's it's kind of like another office for me. And um, all my staff, have, we've moved into home offices, and so we have to meet somewhere. And so every time I go to Starbucks, you got to get a cup of coffee, right? So I go in there. I'm in early in the morning, and a girl comes to the to, – she says, what do I want? I tell her I want to uh, talk a cup of coffee. She gets it. She puts it, and puts it on the counter. Before she rings it up, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, is this the best price I can get? And she looks at me like, are you kidding it's a dollar fifty-two, and you want to know what's the best price you can get? And I said, "Yeah." I said, "Is this the best price I can get?" And she goes, "She didn't look. She didn't say anything. She just turned and she went over to the manager and had a conversation." <laughs> the manager comes over and he says, "Can I help you?" And I said, "Yeah. I just want to know if this is the best price I can get." <laughs> and he looks at me and he goes, "Well, here, just it's free." And I said, "Well, that is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that." So then I go sit down and drink my coffee. I come in the next morning, different. Brewster is what they call them. And I said, same process. They give me the cotton. They're getting ready to ring it up. And I said, well, wait, wait, wait. Is this the best price I can get? And the same look was like, what? Is this the best price I can get? And uh, she goes, hang on. So she goes over, gets the manager. Same manager, by the way. Okay. He comes back in. And he, he looks at me and he says, what are you doing here? I said, I just want to know if this is the best price I can get. Now, you have to remember, I'm only asking one question, all right? They have to give me, a smart negotiator from the other end is only going to give you one answer, okay? But if they don't know how to answer that, what I'm telling you is you're getting ready to save some money. That's the point. The manager says, well, here's free. And I said, well, thank you very much. And then he said, are you going to keep doing this? And I said, I said you, you need to take my course on how to negotiate. And he said... Well, what's the appropriate answer? The appropriate answer is, no. yes, that's the best price you can get. Yes. That's the answer. Uh, I went into Walmart, and on this particular uh, weekend, I needed to buy uh, uh, some T-bone steaks for a family birthday party. And I needed about 12 of them, and they're around $10 each, you know, depending on if, if they, they didn't look like they're on sale. So I'm in Walmart at the meat section. There's two ladies standing to the right of me, and they're looking through one of those coupon paper things. They're having a conversation, and I just overhear that, hey, there's a lot of stuff on here that's cheaper at Albertsons. Now, they're not talking, I don't know what they're talking about, but I'm just standing in the steak section, so I can assume that maybe they're talking about meat. So I grab my T-bone steaks, I put about 12 in the basket, and I go to the line. I'm standing there, waiting in line to go through, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to ask her if this is the best price I can get. So that's exactly what I did. She, I put them on the conveyor belt, but before she starts scanning them in there, this is when you have to do this. You can't do it after scanning it. I said, wait, wait, wait. And of course, you imagine how many people are around me, okay? This, I want you to get this picture in your head. And I look right at her, and I said, wait. I said, is this the best price I can get? And you could hear E.F. Hutton at that point. The whole line went, what? What's going to happen? And she looked at me. She said, uh, well, uh, 
do you have a better price from someplace else? And I said, well, I understand that Albertsons is, is a lot cheaper than you are. And she said, well, how much cheaper? I said, and that caught me off guard, so I just said, well, at least 50%. <laughs> and she goes, okay. She punches in 50%, scans all the meat in, puts it in the bag, puts it in the cart, and I tell you, there's a 360 conversation going around me about people on the right and the left and back. They're going, oh, man, I bet, I bet she got that question for the rest of the afternoon. Is this the best price I can get? Yes, 50%. But the point is this. One, if I hadn't asked, I would have paid about $120 plus tax for meat. But because I asked one question, I ended up saving quite a bit of money. I'm at a furniture store. I go to the furniture store and I pick up my furniture and I tell the, the clerk guy that's the sales guy, I say this one question, is this the best price I can get? And you ask that question, don't you? I hope you do. And he says, that's the best price you can get. Okay, so I'm going to use the next negotiation tactic. Call for higher power. Is your manager here? He looks at me and he's going, I can't believe this guy's doing this. Yes, can I talk to your manager? So he goes and gets his manager, and I know they're having this conversation all the way up. The manager comes up, and I just said, hey, this guy's been fantastic. He's really helped me a lot, but this is the best price I can get. And here's what the manager says. He says, well, I'll go ahead and shave off another 10% if you'll go ahead and buy it now. And I said, okay, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll take the 10% if you throw in free delivery. I'll go ahead and buy it. And he pauses. Okay, and uh, when they pause like that, uh, there's two things that are happening. One, he feels he's losing. And when people feel that they're starting to lose, they're, they're going to get a little bit ugly or they're going to get they're gonna dig their heels in. You know what I'm talking about? Have you seen that? And you need to watch as a good negotiator what, for those signs. It's kind of like a, kind of a third eye. All right, just watch. Now, how many times, somebody asked me the other day, how many times do you go back and forth in negotiating? I said, I said, it depends on the deal. The bigger the deal, you may want to use a different, some other negotiating techniques. But usually, if some of these small things, you know, maybe less than two or three, about two or three times before you're really ticking somebody off. You want to remember that. So he looks at me and he says, and this was a good response. He said, I can do the 10% or I can do free delivery you decide which one you want. And I, and I thought, good response. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll take the 10% because the delivery is 50 bucks. I said, I'll take the 10% off. It was several hundred dollars. Deal was done. And he felt good about that because he won and I won. Do you see how important that is? You want to make sure they win and you win. But if you have a difficult time asking people, is this the best price I can get? you will have a difficult time in front of a strong negotiator. Because if you, get, if you have experienced a lot of emotions trying to save money for yourself, it's going to be difficult for you to appropriately stay calm and, and negotiate for my money if I used you in your particular line of service. Does that make sense?